Hi everyone, it's me again, Jason Wong, Research Manager of IFAS Malaysia. In this video series, I'll be sharing some strategies for investors to invest in a volatile market. In this episode, I'll be talking about strategy number two, invest in a diversified portfolio. Everyone knows the saying, don't put all your eggs in one basket. Harry Markowitz pioneered modern portfolio theory in his paper, Portfolio Selection, which was published in the Journal of Finance in 1952. He was later awarded a Nobel Prize for his work on modern portfolio theory. Modern portfolio theory states that when an investor diversifies across assets that are less than perfectly correlated, the portfolio risk is less than the weighted average of the risk of the individual securities in the portfolio. The risk that is eliminated by diversification is called unsystematic risk, also known as diversifiable risk. Capital market theory assumes that diversification is free and that investors will not be compensated for bearing risk that can be eliminated at no cost. In other words, investors that do not diversify is taking on unnecessary risk. Diversification is a risk management technique that mixes a wide variety of investments within a portfolio. The rationale behind this technique contends that a portfolio of different kinds of investments will on average yield higher returns and pose lower risk than any individual investment. Diversification strives to smooth out unsystematic risk events in a portfolio so that the positive performance of some investments will neutralize the negative performance of others. Therefore, the benefits of diversification will only hold if the securities in the portfolio are not perfectly correlated. This correlation matrix illustrates the correlation of each asset class versus one another, which is represented by the correlation coefficient number. The higher the number, the higher the correlation and vice versa. What we want is to combine assets that have low correlation, therefore the closer to zero, the better. Here I'll illustrate the benefits of diversification through a simple portfolio that consists of core assets such as the below. This will result in a diversified balanced portfolio with 50% in equities and 50% in bonds that's less volatile. Then I shall backtest this portfolio over a few crucial market downturns in the past and compare the portfolio versus notable equity benchmark, the S&P 500 index. It is evident that a diversified portfolio can weather through the market volatility better than a 100% US equity portfolio as seen in the chart here where the drawdown is much lower. That's all for strategy number two, invest in a diversified portfolio. Stay tuned for the next video where I'll talk about strategy number three, know what you own and why you own it. Thank you.